very happy later the revolutions thank you please take mr darun kumar yes introduce yourself to the board sa so myself uh, darun kumar i am from uh, my na- my name means man who can win in any situation i am from uh, trichy district uh, my father uh, is a retired uh, general manager tamil nadu state transport corporation he is antana my brother is vijay lakshmi she is a teacher working in government aided school i did a b computer science engineering from institute of road and transport technology so you are the mother of the teacher yes. mm-hmm. what is uh, happening in tamil nadu with respect to uh, and strike is going on yes sir so uh, they are having 10 demands and uh, strike is happening very unfortunately do you justify what is happening so i don't just uh, teacher teacher has huge responsibility of uh, taking care of children and they can never give up their responsibility they can strike after the school ends okay your optional is public administration what is principle of natural justice so i am unable to Okay, what is the uh, principle of colorable legislation? Sir, I am an employee. Okay, what is the, uh, there is a uh, maxim, black, Latin maxim in public administration. How do you alter part? What does it mean? I don't know, sir. Okay. Uh, the delegation cannot be further delegated. Isn't it? Yes. Delegation. Sub-delegation is not allowed. Yes. Why? Sa delegation uh, literally means giving the powers of legislature who are accountable to the people, to the executives who are accountable to the legislation. So when we delegate a lot, the amount of accountability decreases. The amount of discretion increases, which is very uh, unnatural for a vibrant democracy. Okay. With respect to theory of separation of powers, <coughs> judiciary is most of the time entrenching into the functioning of the executive or legislature, which we call as judicial supremacy or judicial activism. <coughs> Can you quote some of the recent examples? Yes, sir. <coughs> so, for example, coal mining, uh, this is a recent <coughs> example. Coal mining lic- uh, lic- uh, licenses were uh, uh, dismissed and um, uh, that is what I can remember regarding it. With respect to Article 21, the scope and ambit of Article 21 is expanding day by day. What, is, what kind of uh, uh, rights have been brought up of late? the reason being uh, right to privacy the government has uh, the supreme court has given uh, right to privacy as a, even a fundamental right for a human uh, for uh, every citizen uh, even subject to certain uh, restrictions and uh, there is right to uh, uh, for example euthanasia issue the supreme court added uh, a person has right to over his own uh, uh, decision making regarding his himself Uh, these two things can I can take it. Okay, there are so many parliamentary committees. Which uh, committee do you think is uh, playing a very vital role with respect to accountability? So, uh, accountability, the most important committee being Public Accounts Committee. And uh, they are uh, doing their own role, but the problems persist. For example, members are appointed only for one year. and uh, they they uh, their task being post facto they take the audit report of uh, cag and they try to retrieve something out of it and uh, even <coughs> there is what is cag optimism so cag optimism uh, when when the aspect of their audit uh, goes beyond uh, and uh, they try to perceive whether it is a good intention then it is called a cag activism yeah so i am mr darun kumar hi ma'am okay i see that you are from prachrapalli so did you hear that this store is trying to invest something in trichy 
Yes, ma'am. I, I read a report. Uh, I suppose it's trying to do something. Uh, in what is it and how is it going to help your district? Ma'am, uh, I am unable to recollect exactly what they, uh, they are going to do. But it, it will definitely uh, benefit. No, without knowing how, what they are going to invest, how can you tell that it will be very helpful? Ma'am, uh, <coughs> Just because it is this law? No, no ma'am. Uh, it will be definitely helpful in the sense I feel uh, uh, industry investment is very much important. If ISRO is investing, then actually industries will creep up. And it no, will... but I would say that Atrachi already has got many heavy industries uh, functioning. But still, I don't foresee any. I don't see any kind of development in Atrachi first. Per se, when compared to any other uh, districts of Tamil Nadu. Yes, ma'am. Uh, stagnation is happening uh, in Trichy. Development is completely based on central government's uh, investment and state government's investment. Yet, Sipcot and Man Manapara is uh, taking it up. It is growing at the rate of 7 to 8 percent. And uh, even government is taking uh, IT industries. It has established IT hub. And uh, it, has, it has also increased itself from the start. It is now about growing at the rate of 5 to 6 percent. Even when it is lower, it is growing a bit. Uh, recent global investors mean government tried to uh, bring it. The defense corridor will be more beneficial for the children. Okay. So you are a CSE graduate. Yes, ma'am. And recently Tamil Nadu, as I was told, had this GIM also happening, global investment. Okay. So how much is the investments, uh, what the computer field is like attracted in Tamil Nadu? I don't know. You're not aware of it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what was the outcome of this global investor meet? I don't know. I'm asking you what is the outcome of the presently, the latest global investment meet happening in Tamil Nadu, which happened in Tamil Nadu? Outcome? Uh, or the results? I don't know exactly, ma'am. I didn't read a lot on it. Okay. So you see, you have a hobby of wealth out of waste. Okay. I do share the same hobby. Okay. So I would like to hear you are a computer engineer and you have a hobby of wealth out of waste. And e-waste is something which is really a uh, very large uh, quantity of e-waste is being produced. So as a computer engineer, what might what is the solution you would like to bring to handle the e-waste? Ma'am, e-waste is gold. It is, uh, it is considered as a resource uh, in uh, certain countries. And we can take up a lot of huge metals, very important and rare metals, and uh, we can have a very good economy. But the aspect of its toxicity, toxicity is again uh, very uh, high. So hence we should have uh, greater involvement of R&D. And uh, China has a lot of technologies. Uh, having R&D, we can develop. We uh, for uh, regarding events, we can only have centralized uh, uh, recycling units. So, uh, with investment, every district in every state, we can uh, get the best out of our resource if done uh, in, from the local. The segregation is very important and people should be aware how they should dispose the e waste okay. such that we can uh, take the resource out of okay. our Is there any legislation in action? Hello. For example, with respect to e waste? Uh, recently, in 2016, uh, e waste disposal uh, policy is there. Policy is it? Yes, uh, rules. Sorry. Okay. What was the important, uh, uh, you have a particular, uh, I know, uh, terminology which was given in that regulation. What is it about? Uh, polluter pays principle, ma'am. No, it is producer's responsibility. Sorry, ma'am. Okay. Fine. Okay, so, the road. So, Thiruvallu Street. Okay. So, could you, I mean, do you know about any products that have direct significance to good governance? Yes, sir. Um, directly to good governance, I will say yes, yes, great impact in administration. Uh, that regarding how administration should be, how a person's moral uh, responsibility should be as an administrator is given a uh, huge impact in personal administration. Uh, for example, uh, uh, for a Thirukkural which he says that a person who is going to be an administrator should take uh, everyone under him into confidence before taking any decision and uh, he again uh, talks uh, a person before taking a uh, decision should know the squat, strength, weakness and, uh, uh, and the best decision that he can take. There are a number of Thirukkural which he has also talked about management, ethics in management 
and uh, even poverty has taken uh, taken it up in certain rules. So, uh, my idea is what, uh, which, what is your top service preference? Uh, Indian administration. How do you feel? What has? Uh, Sir, I wanted to be part of uh, nation building and uh, it provides me a great career with huge diversity. Uh, I feel I can bring the best out of myself being an uh, Indian administrator. So, heading from Tirchi, which is a agricultural land. So, what is your view on the policy of waiving farmers loan? Ma'am, uh, waiving farmers loan, it is education in the short term and uh, it should be exception, not uh, normalized. It can be for uh, once in 25 years. It, it, if there is certainly a distress and uh, if if we have to improve rural economy, we can do it. But it, it should not be election cycle, it should not be politicized such that every five years it is happening. And uh, it is a short term measure, we need long term measures such that these things will not reoccur. And agricultural economy is very important for our national development, 50% of our population are uh, based on it. So we have to make sure the youth in the agricultural economy to, uh, to take up uh, greater entrepreneurship uh, the loan users are not uh, benefiting and uh, they are uh, not uh, solving the issues what do you think are the factors contributing to the farmers distress because we see a lot of farmers agitation going on in the past one year or so so what do you think are the factors that are contributing to the farmers distress um, first thing is finance uh, the banks corporate banks or public sector banks take up their financial need of agriculture but they don't, the social needs of uh, the farmers. They used to spend uh, festivals every year. They have a lot of uh, social uh, uh, social uh, functions within them. So they are not taking it up. So they lend, uh, they, they are moved towards the money lender. Second thing is market is disordered. Market is heavily controlled, heavily centralized, and uh, even a uh, lot of sex are there. Uh, uh, they are not actively taking up enams, for example. They are not decentralizing. Maharashtra try to decentralize uh, the fruits from uh, uh, agricultural marketing committees, and a huge backlash from the traders were there. It was very difficult for the government to take up reforms when it comes to marketing. Third thing is the technological developments are not creeping up to the downwards. We have huge technologies. Recently, President Ramnath Govind uh, gave a uh, mobile app for uh, Myanmar agricultural uh, citizens. We have huge say, ecosystem of uh, things happening, but it is not uh, getting into the farmers. For example, uh, survey conducted says only 33% of farmers know about the real MSP that they are going to get. So these things we have to uh, reform. Do you agree to the policy that uh, the state of Kerala is following in terms of uh, farmers' debt and uh, farmers' loan? Ma'am, uh, I don't know what Kerala government is exactly following. Uh, I will read it. Yes. So, Darun, you have won intra college coding events, right? And you are a computer science engineer. So, I've already told why you want to join the service. So I wouldn't ask you the question again. But there's a lot of fascination for startups, right? And I somehow find it strange that companies which are incurring losses uh, in the startup stage, be it Ola, be it Flipkart, be it Snapdeal, so many others, being valued at 1 billion, 5 billion, 7 billion, it takes hundreds of years for a manufacturing industry to get that kind of valuation. So, do you think it's just a bubble or is there some logic to it? Sa, yes, they have huge deep pockets. For example, Flipkart is getting uh, through uh, Walmart and uh, Ola it, it, again SoftBank, uh, SoftBank's uh, backup is there. So they are investing for market. Every startup is investing for market. For example, Ola is giving a subsidy. For example, now food aggregators are giving huge subsidy because they want market. They want to reach the people. Once they reach the people, and they attend a kind of their own capacity, they will try to bring in their economy. For example, Uber, they took up free rights for uh, every month, they gave free rights about the two years before. Now they are charging. Ola is also charging higher than before what it did. So when they creep up their market and they assure that their market they will hold, they will uh, try to bring in their uh, own revenue generating purposes. So you mean to say this valuation is justified? 
the valuation at which all these investors are putting money in is justified no sir uh, there are also problems in that uh, it is uh, they are hugely invested and the returns are uh, again unpredictable policy so what are there. so what i mean is it just uh, uh, I mean, it's a private investor. He is investing something value. He can even buy this bottle for five thousand rupees. It's his money. Can you leave it like that, or is there a larger social cost involved when startups go bust after investing so much of money? So I don't get the exact question. No, I'm saying it's SoftBank is valuing Ola at ten billion dollars. Ten billion dollars is sixty thousand crore rupees. Right. So and it is it's it's making a loss of some six hundred crores every year. So, but it's soft bank's money, right? Or let's say an indigenous investor, uh, Sachin Bansal has invested hundred crore in Nola now out of the money that he got out of Walmart. So it's his personal money. He has already is investing it. So should we leave it like that, or is there a larger social cost involved for higher valuations, bubble valuations, which can go bust? Does the society get affected because of it, or it is just the individual investor who gets affected because of it? Sir, so, I have to read regarding it, but I feel sir, society will also be affected by certain extents because every startup, especially in this sector, their economy drives on how behavioral change they are bringing. For example, food food aggregators, Piggy, Zomato, their economy completely depends on how much they make others buy. So they are uh, greatly providing uh, offers such that people buy at the time they don't eat. They are uh, creating a behavioral change which might be disastrous also. Yes, yeah. sir. If you come in please, sir. Yeah. See, you have this bottle in front of you. After we have this water, it's going to be a waste. So can you tell me quickly a single L you will be drawing out of this? We can make it as a flower flower box, flower box, and keep it here because the table is doesn't have anything. Okay. Very amazing. Flower. Flower flask. We can. Flask. Flask. We can keep it. We can uh, make sure we can bring some few sticks. Uh, make flowers. Uh, two caps. We have six caps here. We can uh, easily create it. Okay. Okay. Before concluding, what is this? Uh, yeah, your uh, your question is related to that only. Okay, uh, it is hobby or wealth? Ah, yes, sir. Uh, what does it mean actually? Uh, what do you do? Sir, uh, it is trying to create something out of uh, whatever the base we have. Mm-hmm. It started from my childhood. Uh, I usually spend a lot of hours uh, hours alone in my home. My parents will be working. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Our interview is over. Thank you. First uh, review our interview. How you have done? I should have told. I don't know two questions. If I don't, uh, then I didn't read the newspaper. I should have known about global investor means. Not knowing the answer is different. Uh, we, I think personally, I don't know what. Uh, from you are giving an impression that you are too. You are taking it very lightly. Mm. This interview. So you have gone to the interview before, no? Yes. What was your score? One five one. One five one. Ah. So see, I think uh, sir, you guys. Oh, that's it. That's it. So see, see, there is a see. First of all, when he is asking about public administration and what is delegated legislation, saying that I don't know, I'm not able to recollect. Just principle of national justice. Yeah, principle of national justice. I'm saying everybody. No, knows. so but I am also not. Uh, I mean, I don't know about public administration. You know, very uh, common questions. No, see, because see, see, because the board knows that you know, and if you are not able to say it there, it is just an indication that you are stressed. Ah, uh, yes. See, principle of natural justice. Anybody who prepares for civil service will know what is principle of natural justice. Okay. Anybody who studies public administration will know about colorable legislation. Sir, the executive you bringing you out uh, the name of a law. It's not that you don't know it. Yes. If you are unable to recollect, see, global investors meet, so I don't know. That's fine. You may not know, right? But for questions which are straightforward, principle of natural justice. Sorry, sir, I am not able to recollect. Then it's a then it's only an indication of reflecting of your personality that you are under deep stress and you are not able to. Okay. You are getting my point, no? Yes. So just be slightly more prepared. And as sir rightly said, when you say I don't know, you have to be slightly apologetic. Ah, 
Yeah, I'm very, sorry, sir. I don't your, know. Your language. I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't know. Your your language gives an impression. Uh, I mean, throughout the interview, that you are taking it very casual, very lightly. I mean, just like uh, talking with the friends you started. And uh, I expected with the uh, blazer, you with the blazer, at least you should have come with a tie. Ah, so, so, so the, the tie. The, the aim is. Is not mad. No. It's a very no, important. No, they would have told you to no, come with tie. So, now I have. Every so long, I have. See, I am very true. They didn't tell you. No, no. See, the purpose is mock. You will have to come as if you are coming to the mock interview. You will not go you to the mock interview. Yes. So, that's why you are going to go to the mock interview. You are going to go to the mock interview. See, Darun, I have already faced the board once. It's not new to you. I think the, uh, the, the mannerism of yours, to some extent, see, you are going to smile. Everyone is going to go to the mock interview. See, you are slightly overdoing it is what I feel. The eye contact. When someone is asking a question, don't look at another person. You're getting my point. No, when he's asking a question, don't turn and look at another person. When you're answering, you can briefly look at others. You're doing that okay. But question ke do more than you want to talk about it. Then the person who's asking the question may feel, uh, you know, offended. Okay. That is one thing, right? See, I think uh, if you prepare on these small small things, you can definitely aim for even 180. Uh, right. yeah. You have potential, uh -huh. that is why we are concerned. You uh -huh. have potential, uh -huh. you have come up to this level. Uh -huh. So, if you take it some more seriously and some uh, sincerely, if you can. I mean, see, uh -huh. though it is a mock interview, you we expected more from you. Sure. Uh, like, so, first of all, language also, sir, like, uh, sorry, sir. yeah, that's language also a little bit improve in such a way that you are very uh, uh, sincere in listening, uh -huh. isn't it? So, and uh, sincere to answer, like when you are not knowing, you should be, uh, you should say that if you regret to regret to nah. So sorry sir, sorry ma'am, I am like, not aware. Doesn't matter, ah. now you can do so. See, the other. experience other. is that. And uh, please don't overdo your wishing now. Hmm. Belated Republic Day wishes, no so long as you have to do it. Belated Valentine's Day wishes, no so long Don't overdo it just go and say, good morning ma'am, good morning sir. Right, and you wish the chair first, always. Even if there is a lady in the room, you wish the if the lady, the chairman itself is a lady, then you say good morning, ma'am, and then the others. But you wish the chair first. You walk in, stand, stand normally. Don't stand. You are standing like this in front of the board. So stand normally with your hands down, and say good morning, ma'am, or good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sirs. Right. So very very small. I think. Content wise, the way you are answering, your language, the diction, all that is absolutely fine. And the body language and the manners are there. Inno konjo, adav konjo casualness thei. And the body language. Adav adav every work on banana, ulla pombo the konjo bobby on board the. Konjo humble up waiting nende the. You are you you know when you walk in, you say good morning sirs, good morning ma'am. Adav the one. What is all that? Casualness. You correct me if I'm wrong, sir. No, he didn't see him. No, like, I didn't see him for last time. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, are you serious with the interview? I am serious. Yeah, yeah. Well, the interview means this interview. I am serious. Really? <laughs> <laughs> in my perception, now also you are feeling a bold song. I am also. Because you are not able to receive it. Yeah, I am dying to see it. You are receiving it. As a book you are speaking, I know what to do. That's what the attitude is showing you guys. I don't know. Really, I didn't think in that way. I want to be good blend because it is going to spoil your career there. Okay. The issue is you have to manage the egos. The guys who are sitting opposite to you in the board are 60 years old. People ego grows in a geometric fashion. And age grows in arithmetic fashion. That is the service. It grows, the geometry itself is geometry. Okay, so imagine all the guys who are there are highly egoistic. One slight attitude will spoil your chance even if it is. They are not going to go. Do they worry about you? Whether you are coming into IAS or some ABC is coming into the South IAS, doesn't matter for them. Are you going to sell them? If they recruit you for a company, they care. Because you are going to be part of the company, 
I, I, you are indulgent. I want you respect your arrogance. But for civil servants, they don't bother. If you're indulgent, fine. If you're arrogant, so sorry. Because it is your duty to impress the board, even the board is foolishness. Let the board be full. No yes. more. But you have to impress the board. You have to show that you are subordinate to them. Moment you show I am equal to you, you are gone. I am putting black and I know it hurt you. That's why I am telling you. I am here to learn. Because if you do it consciously, you can change it. If you are doing it unconsciously, you need a lot of practice. If you don't know that my perception is going wrong, that your attitude is wrong, and you don't know that your attitude is wrong, then you have bigger task. You don't study anything for the next 15 days. Just sit, make a video recording of all your mock interview with your friends, put it again and again, see what is showing the arrogance. Okay. And change the arrogance. There is an element of arrogance in your approach, there is an attitude visible, and you don't want to even listen to Radharajan who has cleared IAS. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, actually, I read a Vipin Drag who got 210 marks. He told, Don't be apologetic to the board. If you don't know to sell, don't know. Don't say sorry and all because they will lose it. So, that is what I'm saying. 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 Yes, uh, see, your statement is perception is justified now. No. Yeah, we, are we, are all, we are all experienced people. We are doing this day in and day out. Yes. We say that, look, it comes across as arrogant. Please say, sorry ma'am, I don't know. And now you are quoting some uh, transcript which says that... See, that is what I was trying to say. Yeah. 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 Said, please don't be apologistic because they won't yeah. like apology. Yeah. 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 No, no, yeah. please. Listen, listen, listen. What I am saying... When Rangaraj told this point, we apologize to God. Oh, how I am catching your eyes? And he says, don't be apologize to God. He felt the point is not valid. Because already you made up your mind, I should not say sorry to God. Because some unknown guy by name Vipul got 210. Just because not saying sorry to the God. That is your presumption. He has not got 210 because not saying sorry to the God. Maybe a lot of attributes. That is his perception. That is simple perception in the interview that I didn't say sorry and I got a score. Maybe something else has shown on the board. Right. So don't come to a conclusion based on some interview based on topper. Okay, I lost my first interview because I wrote a word in my weakness. That is weakness is missing word in my dictionary. What is that? <laughs> missing word in my dictionary. <laughs> so the board took offense of it, not EPC board. This other, uh, my first college company, Voltas World. They said, how can a human being without a weakness? And the entire interview was around that. And they told, your weakness is this. After 40 minutes, they were trying to find a weakness. And I was trying to impress them without a weakness. You're getting the point. So, I am limiting because you already have a filled answer. You are not able to accept the Rangarajan answer. That is why I am asking, you already had a lot of preoccupations about various points which is convenient to you. Like me not be apologetic is convenient to you. I am very sure you would have said less sorry in your life. No sir. You say sorry so often? No, I will say sorry thanks very often. No, no. So if you are not in the transcript you would have said sorry I don't know. No? Yes sir. I usually say So without studying that you would have not modified your personality. Now unnecessarily you modified your personality. Now your personality is silent to decide with somebody in life. Mm -hmm. You have your own original person. You see people here and take their perception and again think over it, which is right for me. Who am I? Which is right for me. Whether Rupul says, or Anrajan sir says, or Salman says, or maybe I say. I am again and saying I am my perception. It is not you. Because I am not going to award my mark, your mark. But if I am sitting in the board, if you are coming and talking to me and I am age 60, I am going to give you 35. You are finished. That I am very sure. This is what my ego is. So I heard, okay, you think you are so smart at 60, you think I am a video? We will see in the, not in the academy. 
will see in the roads. That's what my attitude will be. And I have seen a lot of members saying this so. Yeah, actually. Personally saying this too. Actually, is that? Me. This is what attitude of member. So your job is not to show intellect. That is already tested. Your intelligence, knowledge, everything is tested. Now they are trying to see whether you are fitting with the civil service attitude. Here you play a neutral role, if not positive. Because moment the attitude of arrogance or some confidence, overconfidence, all this comes, they will give you the score. They are not deciding whether you are going to IAS, IPS or IRS. They are going to decide whether you are going to be in service or not. But if you are going to decide your service, then depends on your means you are going to get your service. Okay? So, what I am saying, you receive. Now start receiving things. Please receive inputs, what Raghurajan says, what Salimaran says, what uh, Madam says, and process it again. And if you unconsciously that your attitude is right, you think, it is for me, it is wrong. So, it is up to you to yeah, I take it. practice and change it. You do it consciously. There is a best chance to, because everybody is seeing your intelligent. You are knowledgeable. But only thing is they are saying your attitude is not perfect. I will change it. No, not in here. To the board. <laughs> <laughs> Even to you I will change Yeah, that is the very purpose. Finally what you said, that is the very purpose of our right. feedback. So don't get offended or demotivated. Our purpose of giving feedback. See, the same thing we all, I might we all do. And he was very, very blunt or very... Plan. But that is what is actually required. That is the reality. I, I what is that is the reality? What is that is the reality? You are going to get a score minus and I don't want to see you again here. Or I ask you. Otherwise, I can accept your carefulness for some time. No, it's <laughs> okay. No, it's very nice. My small is is that see, we see yes. so much things because not just to like, you know, to make you feel very low of yourself. Ah, we yeah. want you to turn out of this. Yes. See, he has spent so much of time, he has observed you not even for like 5 minutes, but he is like able to speak about you for more than, minutes. Minutes. More than yeah, uh, exactly. like 10 minutes. Okay, we want you to be this side. Okay, Thank you. see, so but still, but sir, you are reserved and the reservations you have to be when the solar mode is reserved. Okay. Somebody X or Y name the work. And even see him, you are like uh, believing him and you have like invited his birth so strongly. But in the five people are here, we are like speaking to you directly sitting in front of you. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the key. Yeah. So me so fifteenth, yeah. So come for the mock next week also. Okay. Yeah? So, yeah. see you next time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. That's one small observation I also wanted to make. To yeah. screen, sir, no? When he was speaking to you, he came forward. But you were like, you had a laid back attitude. Actually, I wanted to push myself to be conference, so I made a show day that I have overgone. I understood. So I should have made it. That's the time I didn't talk well. I was so confident. No, so confidence will always see when. You don't have to be apologetic to the board while answering every question. You don't have to be submissive to the board, but you don't have to be obedient to the board. I guess. It's as simple as that. There's a difference between me. And when you don't know, you're sitting in a most important interview of your life and someone is asking you a question, no, you don't know, you'll feel sorry about it. No, sorry sir, I don't know. Okay. 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 There is no right answer. Ah, when you are wrong answer, it depends on you. Mm. Yes, yes, sir. You put some answers right, mm. same answer will be wrong. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I felt that they might feel that this guy has What apology does? What apology does? Saying sorry is not being defensive or something. Saying sorry is not being defensive or something. Okay, that is wrong. Yeah, the experience in tech my friend got into Microsoft. That time Microsoft was something. Really? Very big. That's right. 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 That's 